Hello again from Taipei. Tonight we've actually walked about 40 minutes from our hostel into the Songshan district. So it's quite far out, but we've come here for this market, which we're very excited about. And it's a huge food market. Apparently one of the oldest in Taipei and also one of the most traditional. So we're excited to see what's on offer. Yeah, we've walked a long way, so hopefully <laughs> yeah. it's gonna live up to the hype. literally like 30 seconds into the market and we're already queuing for something <laughs> um, we did read about this one online it's right at the entrance and it's pork pepper buns and it's got a Michelin star and I am insanely excited for this it yeah. smells amazing and there's 60 each which is probably about £1.60 each I find it so cool how they're just making all of the ingredients fresh in front of you there's just members of staff everywhere preparing each ingredient so peppery. We forgot the spring onions in there, which really complement the pork. If I had to compare it to anything, it's like a pork pie, but a really peppery pork pie. I think the pork is a tiny bit on the fatty side, for my liking. I know what you mean, the, the meat is quite fatty, but I think that's what makes it so juicy. The pork has so much flavour. The bread itself actually has a peppery taste to it as well. It's got sesame seeds on the, on the very top. This is fantastic. This is so good. they just deep fry them and the inside is actually hollow so there's no sweet potato inside but mm. oh wow best flavor that comes through is just sugar it's so sweet and if you can see the outside of it it's almost like a donut or a pastry it's crispy on the outside and then you've got this layer of chewy dough inside he asked if he wanted small or big said small Look at the size of this portion. Oh yeah, it smells like a donut as well. Oh my god. That is not what I expected at all. I thought it was going to be fried to the point where it's really crispy. It's actually got like a custard inside. It's just a thin layer. But yeah, it gives it like that really sweet creamy flavour. In Taiwan, they're actually obsessed with sweet potato. If you go into the 7-Eleven, there's hot counters with sweet potatoes in. You can just take as a snack. These are so tasty. Yeah, what I like about it is it's just linear, just one straight line, so you can't miss a store, you're going to see them all, and it looks like what you do is walk right to the end and then circle back on the other side and walk up. We keep going past these stores with a really funky, weird smell, 
and it's not nice at all. We think it must be stinky tofu. Just been queuing up for a fried chicken cutlet, which we've read is something to try here. And then we were the next person in line, or the second to last person in line, and the lady in front of us ordered everything that was left. <laughs> so we're gonna go find something else to eat. <laughs> So I read somewhere that everyone thinks bubble tea is the national drink of Taiwan, but actually it's papaya milk. Apparently if you speak to a local, they'll tell you it's papaya milk. I don't even think I've ever eaten papaya before, so I have no idea what this is going to taste like. Mm. It's actually really good. I'd probably compare it to a peach in terms of the flavour, but the flavour's not as strong, it's quite subtle, but it's really nice, really refreshing. He just got a load of papaya and mixed it with milk and added sugar. Nice, really like it. Okay, but the question is, papaya or bubble tea? Oh, bubble tea. <laughs> Every day. that does fried chicken. If you remember earlier we got um, tender away from that cutlet place. So yeah, we're gonna try a piece of original recipe Taiwanese fried chicken. Let's see how it is. It's absolutely massive. Okay, there's a reason it's kind of pricey then. Yeah, it was 90 Taiwanese dollars, which is like £2.50. Oh my god, what that looks to <laughs> I have the seasoning all over me fingers and I've just tasted it. The seasoning's incredible. Wow. It's almost like a peri salt seasoning, but it's like a little bit sweet too. That is some of the tastiest fried chicken I think I've ever had. Honestly, that is so good. KFC, eat your heart out. And look how white that chicken breast is. Sorry, Hannah, you're not getting any. This is all mine. I don't know how, but it's got a really sweet, almost like a brown sugar taste to it. Um, this is delicious, and the, the chicken is so juicy. If I squeeze this chicken, look at all the juice come out of it. It has literally just come out of the fryer and into our hands. And it would be easy to miss this place when you come to this market because it has its own shop, so it's kind of hidden away in the side. Uh, but it's called Monga or Monja. We'll put the name on the screen. You've got to try it if you're here. to get a bubble tea when in a Taipei night market. Can't not get a bubble tea. So I've got the brown sugar pearl milk tea and it's really nice. You see the bubbles coming through the top? I just love the taste of the pearls. It's really nice. Unfortunately, this is the second bubble tea I've had here and it keeps coming in these cups that you can't actually see the tea. Normally the cool thing about it is the colours of the tea and the pearls and the different layers. But it's tasty anyway. Gosh, it's like 10pm and I can't believe how busy the market still is. A lot of the vendors are still open. One thing's for sure though is that we're getting really full now. So we might leave it there for today's video. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that if you come to Taipei, 
and you do want to come to a night market but you choose this one the food is really good and um, there's plenty of options there's plenty going on yeah there's, we even saw some stalls back there for Taiwanese draft beer so whatever you fancy doing here you can probably find it we'll add up everything we spent and put it on the screen now but I think it was a pretty cheap night for all the food that we had yeah so what would you give the market out of 10 Probably a 9.5 <laughs> Maybe I'm knocking off the 5 because quite a few of the vendors towards the back end of the market were selling like the same things Other than that, it's got a really nice vibe to it Like I said, there's lots of families and couples It's just, it's been really nice being here and a lot of the vendors are super friendly um, There's not much English signage Not that you'd expect that so yeah, but they're really helpful I, I really enjoyed it Yeah. 9.5 for me. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm knocking one off because everywhere you go in the market it smells like stinky tofu. <laughs> yeah it does and actually that was good that was gonna be something we tried tonight but I think we're gonna save it. We'll go to plenty more food markets. We are we are determined to try it but we're too full right now and we don't want to end the night with that just no. in case it leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Just in case you're wondering what it is, stinky tofu is fermented tofu. Yeah. So it has a very pungent smell but it's an extremely popular food here. We didn't actually manage to see any of it somehow, but we could feel like we could smell it everywhere. It doesn't have a very um, obvious look to it, but yeah. Yeah, we probably should have just Googled what it looks like. <laughs> Tomorrow we're getting up early and we're going to catch a train to Hualien. Yes. So, see you there. Yeah, see you there. Bye.